Welcome to my weekly market roundup. I am Sagan Nandi. I used to work in IT mostly in Singapore. I retired several years ago and now I am living in Thailand, doing trading stocks using Q trading systems and techniques. You may watch this and other videos on my YouTube channel Trading Profitably and contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com i regularly share stock and market analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on my twitter page twitter.com sagarnandi all these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them disclaimer first this demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. Then I will demonstrate the use of 360 degrees analysis technique where you Align the forces from the market level, sector industry level, fundamental level and technical level with your trades, thereby giving you truly high probability and low risk trades. That is the last slide of my presentation. I will now continue with the live system. I begin the commodities analysis with oil ETF USO. I am analyzing it with the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this a take glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a swing trade entry opportunity in only a few seconds. If you followed my earlier market roundups, you would know that I suggest taking a short trade at this level. At that time, price tried to go above the watermark resistance level but reversed from there, creating a false upside breakout. And when I suggested the short idea, most people were bullish on oil because of the mid-east tension at that time. My analysis proved helpful. Oil dropped heavily from there. And when price came to the watermark support level, most people were bearish. But I suggested not to take any short trade, instead to look for buying opportunity. Was there any such opportunity? It was there. On this candle, price closed above the watermark support level. However, that candle was an indecisive shape candle. You would not initiate any bullish trade on that day. Next day, there was a bullish shape candle and that was the point you could take a long trade because price dropped sharply the implied volatility would be very high at that time and the efficient way to take the bullish trade would be to take short put vertical after that price tried to go down little bit but reversed back up again and the short put vertical initiated on this day is already in a significant profit
after oil i analyze gold using the gold etf gld the weekly backdrop candle color is remaining yellow neutral the shape is remaining bullish in the daily chart price is continuing to be inside a range the range is formed by watermark resistance at the top and memory trend line support at the bottom until price can go out of this range the direction is not clear and you may avoid taking any swing trade after the commodities analysis i continue with the market level analysis that is the highest level of my 360 degrees analysis the other levels being sector industry fundamental and technical the aim of the market level analysis is to decide if the market is bullish or bearish or neutral if bullish then you may look for more long trades using stocks and if bearish you may look for more short trades using stocks earlier for two weeks spy drop s&p 500 etf spy drop and after that for two weeks it reversed sharply this week it made a new all time high the weekly backdrop candle color is bullish and the shape is also bullish in the daily price recovered sharply on friday it closed very close to the upper boundary level that is to extend it to take a new long trade the chart is bullish but it is too extended to initiate a new long trade right now nasdaq etf qqq very similar picture only even more bullish the relative performance line is sharply tilting up qqq made a new all time high this week it had made a new all time high in the previous week as well in the daily price is above the upper boundary level to extend it to initiate a new long trade dow jones industrial average etf dia the relative performance line is showing that it is underperforming the market yet this also recovered for two successive weeks and this week it could make a new all time high in the daily chart price is close to the upper boundary level this is not a point where i would like to initiate a new long trade same conclusion as spy and qqq bullish but not at a point where i would like to take a new long trade Russell 2000 ETF IWM this also recovered for two weeks this week the backdrop candle color turned bullish though it could not go above the watermark resistance level where the bearish headwind had also appeared earlier relative performance is showing it is underperforming the market in the daily price went up this week though on friday it dropped little bit there is no bullish or bearish signal in iwm right now that completes my market level analysis what is the conclusion the market is clearly bullish it is extended to the upside but clearly bullish you may continue to look for buying opportunities however avoid buying stocks that are fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought are there such buying opportunities certainly and i shared several of them on my twitter page as well as the traders forum i'll review some of them shortly Let's look at the one month sector performance 
here I am looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bars represent this week's performance, green bar previous week's performance and blue bars two weeks performance before that. We saw that the market dropped for two weeks earlier at that time the sectors also declined. For those two weeks only one sector was up and then were down. After that for two successive weeks the market rallied that is reflected in the sectors also. One week ago 10 sectors were up only one was down and this week also 10 sectors are up and only one is down. Which one is down? That is energy. Energy is continuing to be the worst performer. All the other sectors went up and some went up by a very large percentage like real estate, information technology, communication services. The sector level is also reinforcing the bullish view of the market. This is my traders forum sagarnandi.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis for the USA as well as India market. Let's look at the posts under the USA category. During the weekend I shared the sector industry stock scorecard. That is an offline version of the sector industry real-time rotation tool that I use. I earlier showed the one month sector performance graph. From there you can have an idea how the sectors are rotating in and out of favor. That picture is much clearer from this scorecard and heat map. Here you have the 11 sectors scored across multiple review periods for 12 monthly review periods M1 to M12 and then more frequently for recent periods like 10 day, 5 day etc. In addition to that the PACE column in fact there are few more PACE columns also these columns calculate acceleration or deceleration whether it is strength or the acceleration that is shown by cyan color and weakness or deceleration is shown by magenta color. How do I use this? Let me sort it by the 5 day period. If I am bullish on the market as I am based on the market analysis that I carried out just now then I am going to look for bullish trades only therefore I may look for real estate and infotech these are the strongest sector this week or I could look for the most accelerating sectors that would be utilities or real estate Real estate is a sector that is both very strong, it is the strongest of our 5 day period and it is also accelerating, it is the second most accelerating of our 5 day period. I may then drill down into the real estate industries and let me focus on 5 day period, look for the few real estate industries that are strongest over 5 day period and then drill down into the underlying stocks or I could directly go to the stock tab I now have all the real estate sector stocks I could sort them by performance highest to lowest and look for buying opportunities there I tend to look for stocks that are undervalued. The undervalued stocks are shown by cyan color undervaluation column. TCO and UNIT both went up however TCO is overvalued. The valuation is in magenta color. I tend to avoid 
buying stocks like that. I could buy TCO probably based on earnings growth, but not based on valuation. Whereas for unit cop, it is undervalued, but the earnings growth is negative. I could buy unit cop based on valuation, not on earnings growth. Both are valid criteria for me. I looked at the TCO chart that went up very sharply after this earnings announcement, which was a reversal from the negative earnings growth one quarter ago to a robust positive earnings growth, 260% positive earnings growth in the latest quarter. It went up sharply and there was no buying opportunity. Whereas unit COP, which was undervalued, gave a Q buy setup a few days ago. Based on the sector strength analysis, you could keep an eye on the real estate undervalued stocks. You would identify unit COP and then checking the Q technical charts, you could have a low risk entry opportunity. Let's look at the unit COP technical charts. This is unit COP UNIT using the weekly daily at a glance template. I'm using QLE on TradeStation. One week ago itself, the backdrop candle color in the weekly chart turned bullish cyan. Earlier it was bearish magenta for three weeks. When it turned cyan in the weekly chart, you could start to look for a buying opportunity in the daily chart. On this day, we had a bullish flow color candle. It created a higher low. That's why the memory trend line is drawn using these two anchor points. That shows that we had a higher low. And then we had a cyan color, bullish flow color candle. However, looking at the long upper tail on that day, Following Q guideline, I would not buy the stock on that day. Next two days also didn't give a bullish shape candle. The bullish shape candle came at this point and that would be the optimal buy point. You could buy at the close of that day, put stop just below recent low, which would be just below the memory support line. The initial profit target would be at the upper boundary level or at the watermark resistance level, both of which were hit this week. Because the initial profit target was hit, you would book partial profit. There would not be any reason to exit full position because the sector is very strong. The stock is fundamentally strong, undervalued, and technically it is very strong as well. Under such circumstances, Q guideline is to continue to hold partial position with trailing stop, trying to let profit run, and I would do the same. That is how you can use the sector scorecard and heat map. Normally, you may use the five day period. However, sometimes, to pinpoint exact turning points, you may look at the zero day period, that is the real time period which changes on real time. And if you did that, you would find real estate utilities strongest on Friday. If you want to be a bit more precise in identifying a possible turning point, you could look for the base column, acceleration column in real time. Zero day period means Friday's data. And you can see on Friday, materials was most accelerating. The score is still magenta. It is not the strongest, nowhere near the strongest of the sectors. However, it was the most accelerating. You could then drill down into material stocks and look for a fundamentally undervalued stock because the sector was weak for a long time i would like to look for undervalued stocks look for undervalued stocks that are going up 
some must be going up that is leading to the sector's acceleration. I will look at the underlying stocks shortly but before that let me look at some of the posts I shared in my traders forum. Let me look at the latest post. The latest one was the sector industry stock scorecard. That is the offline version of the real-time sector industry rotation analysis tool. The latest stock related post was this one. Another high pressure breakout buying at price extreme low. Let's review this post. Scrolling up to the top, I shared it two days ago on 14th February. That is on Friday, is it? Friday. That is on Friday. Using real time analysis, I shared this possible buying opportunity. It was in the diversified chemicals industry. You can see that the industry was weak for a long time. The color was magenta and then only in the recent periods the color turned cyan. There was some acceleration as well. The industry was telling us that we could look for a buying opportunity. Then I found this stock CC. It was undervalued. When I shared the idea, it was already up by 18%. It had a short squeeze potential as well. You would look for a buy setup in this case. How did the chart look like? This is how the charts look like. In the weekly, it displayed a bullish headwind possible reversal signal several weeks ago. Since then, price couldn't go below the low of that headwind signal. At the right edge, it broke out of the memory resistance trend line with a bullish shape and bullish color candle and the breakout was accompanied by extreme bullish pressure. What about the daily chart? Daily also displayed a bullish headwind several days ago and since then price couldn't go down. At the right edge on Friday price broke out of the memory resistance line with a bullish shape and bullish flow color candle for the daily chart. It displayed extreme bullish pressure on Friday and price was turning up from price extreme low. The stock was turning up, breaking out just when the industry was also starting to turn up. This gave a long breakout trade candidate on Friday. I shared it around 11.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's see how the stock ended at the close of Friday. This is CC at the close of Friday. The weekly closed sharply bullish and the daily also closed sharply bullish. The day ended with 23.4% gain. When I shared it, it was already up by 18% plus. If we ran the Q scans in real time, you could take the breakout trade just when it was going out of the memory resistance line. From there, the day closed more than 8% higher. There is no reason to exit the trade. Everything is looking bullish. The stock is fundamentally strong undervalued, industry is looking bullish and technically the charts are very bullish. I would continue to hold the position in this stock. How could you 
find this trading opportunity probably ahead of others you could do that the same way that I did and I shared it in the forum post I ran three scans together looking for stocks that are at price extreme low or pendulum low and breaking out of memory resistance with extreme bullish pressure you could combine these three scans together you could do that in Q global in Q global there are many scans 50 in fact some of them look for trade setups like bounce box breakout trend following go with flow or trend reversal headwind you can also combine multiple scans and here you can see I combined three scans extreme bullish pressure with stocks that are at extreme price low and reversing and also breaking out I used the results from the preceding exploration if you ran this scan on Friday you would get this result starting with S&P 1500 stocks you would end up getting only one result and that was CC this is how you could combine the scans together to quickly pinpoint a trading opportunity once you found the stock using these technical scans you found CC you would look up its industry strength and also fundamental strength using the other Q tools and once all of those were aligned you could confidently take the long train again probably long ahead of others if you are using Q Elite on trade station then you could find the same opportunity CC using the radar screen you can see that the breakout cell is lit up and also the high pressure cell is lit up showing that it broke out with high pressure you could identify CC from here also in real time remember I told that sometimes you can pinpoint turn around opportunities from the base column in real time the zero day column you may also sometimes be able to find the turn around opportunities using the strength weakness column zero day on Friday if you were watching the sector rotation tool in real time you would notice that materials was the most accelerating sector then you could drill down into the underlying industries look for the strongest industries that would be diversified chemicals or forest products look at their underlying stocks and of the stocks you will look for the ones that were going up fastest again CC would come to your notice well ahead of others probably and looking at the 360 degrees analysis you confidently buy the stock Is that all? No. There is another feature of this real time rotation analysis tool that you could use. That is the insight tool. This shows the stocks going up or going down under different categories. If you kept an eye on the insights, and these insights are calculated by the tool based on a lot of analytics on thousands of stocks what can you see CC came here at the top of the list for best performing stocks CC also came in this list best performing stocks with volume pressure at the top of the list if you scroll down CC also came here best performing undervalued stocks at the top of the list once you saw that in fact any of the categories but I tend to favor this category because I like to buy low I like to find opportunities from best performing undervalued stocks 
you could see CC here, drill down into the industry, or you may say drill up. You would see the diversified chemicals was very nicely strengthening. You would look at the stock tab to instantly find that it was undervalued stock with short squeeze potential. The last step would be to look at the technical charts in this case because you are starting with inside, then looked at industry strength, confirmed its fundamental strength. Last step would be to look at the technical charts and technicals I showed already was very bullish. You could buy the stock right at the point it was breaking out. Therefore, you could find the same buying opportunity from multiple ways. One way would be to start with technical scan, look for possible breakout opportunity, then confirm the stock's fundamental strength and then industry strength. The second way would be to start with the sector level, look at the strongest sectors, in this case most accelerating sector, drill down into the industries, further drill down into the stocks, confirm the fundamental strength, industry strength and then lastly you would look at the technicals. Third way would be to start with the insights, look for the category that is aligned with your style. Some people are looking for buying undervalued stocks, some people are looking for buying growth stocks and some people may be looking for buying both categories. Whatever be your style, you may keep an eye on those stocks. In this case, I would find CC, then I would drill down into the industry, then into the stock and finally at the technical charts to confirm my trend. Whatever be the way you are following, you will always like to align forces from sector industry, fundamental and technical. Those tend to give you truly high probability and low risk trades. As you can see from the ideas that I share in my traders forum. Time to summarize. Market level, bullish. Three of the four market ETFs made new all-time highs. That is SPY, QQQ and DIA. Sector level, bullish. Other than energy, all the other sectors went up. In this market, you may continue to look for buying opportunities. However, avoid buying stocks that are overvalued or overbought. Are there such opportunities still available? Yes. In fact, plenty of them. And I continue to share them in my traders forum and Twitter page. You may keep an eye on them. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.